So you think spicy chicken wings are the top of the poultry food chain? Let's journey to Normandy, where the tradition of good eating tells tales of orchards, craftsmanship and kitchens. This isn't marry me chicken, this is somebody's gonna get laid tonight chicken. Six whole onions, in a pot, open water. Six whole medium sized onions in a pot, unchopped, cover with water, 20 grams of butter, simmer on low until the water is gone. So we're gonna need a lid for this. Little knob of butter, perfect. And we give that a bit of a stir when it warms up. Now we need 400 grams of white mushroom stems, removed and quartered, button mushrooms quartered, okay. 250 ml of water, and juice from half a lemon, half a lemon. Simmer and allow for 10 minutes. By the way, this chicken Normandy, it's all about preparation. Lemon. Okay. We get the seeds out. Full butter, by the way. Really nice. If I ask what's the lemon juice for, well, it stops the mushrooms from going brown. Begin by browning chicken thighs dredged in seasoned flour in butter until they're singing with colour. This isn't just another wing night, it's the beginning of something heart stirringly special. Alright, we're going to get the chicken breast in here as well. We'll slap it in there. Now this is quite a lot of chicken, to be fair. You see, you can feed a lot of people with this meal, but I'm actually going to freeze half of it. Just magically bring it out of the freezer in a few weeks or a few months' time. Although this is a very kind of autumnal dish. Putting on the convection, fast heat. That's good, huh? I'm going to find a space to put her in here. Bacon. It's a little bit too hot, but I don't really care. That's celery there. Uh -huh. Voila. Celery. Get a couple of cloves in there. You know what cloves look like, alright? We're going to get some leeks in there too. A few carrots in here too. Splash a bit of olive oil in there, no, no harm. Bay leaves. Stock. Get some butter in here. Butter. In the same pan, shallots. let the magic happen. Shallots, finely chopped, need. and apple chunks meet with a splash of Calvados. For those who live for a little drama, butter. ignite the flambe. Remember, it's about connecting with the spirit of Normandy. I just eyeball it. If you need a good bit, like, you know, quite a lot going on in this dish, so. These are the apple chunks. Can you see them? I'm just going to dry in the water. This is Calvados. It is an apple brandy. Pour in the apple cider and let it simmer down. 
Then stir in chicken stock and cream. Watch as it thickens into a sauce that whispers stories of Normandy's past. Let's get the chicken stock back in. Chicken stock. It's been sitting there for a little bit, but that's what chicken stock looks like. Cream. Bring it to a high heat. Number nine. Until napping consistency, so we. We want to see it work on the back of the spoon. Right now it's very runny. Try and get your cloves out if you can. Bay leaf number two, out. Clove number two, found. This is taking forever. Drained mushrooms. Time to get the sauce back in there, or the, the mirepoix. Let's use a spoon for the onions. Gloss it up with butter stirred into the sauce for that final shiny embrace. Return the chicken to bask in its glorious sauce. I can turn off the heat now. That's it essentially done. That's chicken Normandy. Now, chicken Normandy isn't chicken Normandy unless you've got your fried apple slices, but I'm not going to do them now. And do them later because they're best served fresh. So that's it, folks. Sayonara. I'm recording. Before serving, as our grand finale, saute additional apple slices in butter and a sprinkle of sugar. Doing this last to ensure they're perfectly tender yet still hold their shape. Nestle these apples around the chicken. A last nod to the orchards of Normandy. Pearl onions and mushrooms get their turn in the spotlight, caramelized and sautéed with butter, sugar and a dash of lemon juice. It's all about building those layers of earthy flavour. Yourselves, ladies. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> I just put, I'll put the side. It's, it's really, really hot. It's a bit of sugar, so real burn risk. Those are your fried onions. Mm, they're so baby. Yeah, they're the tiniest ones I could find. So. Now yeah, more chicken. How much chicken is there actually? And there you have it, sure? chicken Normandy. Each bite is not just a taste, but a voyage to the heart of Normandy, where traditions of good eating run as deep, well, deep as the roots of its really apple awesome. orchards. Beyond spicy wings, this dish is a passport to the world's vast culinary landscapes. For more stories told through dishes, keep watching. Bon appétit with a side of wanderlust. You've tuned into Pot of Plenty, where we journey beyond the familiar to uncover the tales behind the tastes. Stay curious, stay hungry. Good night, and may your God go with you. Onions and fried apple spices. No, I need I need like a, a utensil to.
cab. Whatever you want. Okay, so this is the recording. I should shut up and let just let you do that. Okay. Is it in front? Yeah, it's in front. Okay, good. And you can chirp now. I could hopefully you say something funny. The stuff that's at the bottom, what, what, what is it? Is it just salty sugar so I can have more? Yeah, take it much as you like. Okay. Sugar and butter. <laughs> Get it into you. <laughs> just leave it, I'll clean it later. Just leave it? No, it's just burning on top right Okay, I've taken too many, I'm sorry. No, you haven't taken much as you like. I anticipate having to freeze half of this. <laughs> You're wrong in your um, anticipation. <laughs> I think your anticipation is wildly well, miscalculated. There's four organic chicken breasts in it. There's six non-organic chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. Skinless, unfortunately. I couldn't find the ones with skin. No, that's fine. Skinless is better. Yeah. Um, I just got regular green apples. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a savoury dish, so I thought sour apples would be would probably complimented. As opposed to sickeningly sweet, you know? Because oh they're fried. You know, in sugar, why would you need? Mm, I'm you need so apple? excited. Shush, mm. push now. Oh my god. Oh, I want to eat my own. It's hard to warm and to see you guys launching yourself. Oh stuff. my god, it's so good. I freaking love it. During the live stream, a few people came and went. Nobody really stuck around. I, I have a feeling that the place where I put the camera is not very good. All you're seeing is something frying, you're not actually seeing a guy doing something. You know? I don't know, I don't stick around for. Live streams in general, they make me feel awkward. So it actually, might be actually, that. You're right, you know what happened a couple of times? Mm. Someone, a couple of people come in, you say hello, and they go, Oh my god, he's talking directly to me. Mm. I mean, yeah, they get terrified or they get, they get a shock. No, you feel like you're, you have to stay, and then you feel bad, so you leave as soon as possible. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. It's still my beating heart. I hope it's good. I hope you really enjoy it. Do you, want, do you have the bread? Do you want the bruschetta or whatever it's called? That nah. Bread? Isn't it bruschetta? Did, did, did you get something yet? Yeah. Very good. Larry, you can have a little bit of that bread. You love it. No, it's okay. That's the... Uh, I... Okay. I, um... Hey, separate. <sighs> okay, well, I just butchered that. Or whatever. It does look good, doesn't it? What does it taste like? Good. I've obviously tasted it. Mm. The apples that are. That is lovely. Perfect. I have had more apple today than I have in the past six months. Maybe I need to raise The fried zilbe uh, zilbe yeah. zilbe. Why? Uh, I did. I did. I did. I did. They were much bigger though. Even though they're supposed to be zilbe zilbe, they were much bigger. May I go to my room? Yeah, do you want that little bit of sugar? Oh, oh. yeah. Who, whose daughter am I, fella? I am mine. Exactly. Shaky, shaky. Sorry, I didn't want to get in the, in the light, but yeah. I will if it's sugar. Sugar and butter. This isn't going to end well. Oh. I was, I was lying there in bed this morning and now I just stick the head in and she's like, oh, I'd love chicken normandy. <laughs> oh my god, stop that. Hey, you're still recording, you know? I'm sorry. I'm trying to catch some... Oh, nice one. I'm trying to catch <laughs> some banter, you know? Cold what? Mmm. Catch your chicken and butter. Mmm. Mmm. Like. to walk to um, the special selections for Migros. Mm. They need like eight hours to defrost, but once they defrost, they are just out of this world. Can oh, you this? show me the picture? I don't know what they are. Oh, oh, I know those. Mm. Oh, they give you a kick, huh? I've never really liked the Zibin's Jet. That one's in English. Okay, I'm gonna go to my room. So I can yeah. Wait. I'm sitting in front of the television because, honestly, Excuse me. If you watch Disney, go to your account, please. This meal is too important to me. Alright, I'm gonna stop recording. Okay.